In Placer County now, voters decide whether Colfax High School gets funding to make some of those critical repairs, but it's not going to come cheap. No, it isn't. Your reporter covering Placer County, Brittany Halp Live, joins us live from Colfax now, breaking down the arguments for and against Measure H, Brady. Yeah, guys, well, all out of all of the ballot measures in Placer County, this one has the highest financial obligation to voters. And I spoke to one city council member here who tells me that this ballot measure is absolutely necessary. The ivy that covers the wall outside of Colfax High School also covers some issues inside. So we have a very large amount of maintenance that's been deferred due to funding. The Placer Union School District says Colfax High School is in critical need of repairs. There's a leaky roof, old gas, sewer and electric systems, plus asbestos and lead paint that need to be removed. It's really important that they have a safe, secure, healthy environment to go to school in, as well as the rest of our community's children. The measure also aims to help reduce wildfire risk while also upgrading the science and tech labs. I believe the place needs work. I go out there often. And I'm a very avid sports fan, go out to the school often, and I think it's time. The $20 million bond would raise property taxes in the city of Colfax, adding $30 for every $100,000 of assessed property value. That adds up to about $140 a year for the average homeowner. There's always people against new taxes. Opponents of the measure include the Placer County Republican Party and the County Taxpayer Association. They say the last thing voters need is higher taxes and more debt. But Burris warns if the measure fails, inflation will drive up costs even higher for the district in the future. And we will be saddling future taxpayers with a much higher burden than what we're looking at currently. And we did talk to several people down in the downtown Colfax area. We were unable to find anyone who was actually against this measure. It needs 55% to pass, guys.